What do we do to help to put up the fight to stop this? An important question, Ray. One of the things we need to do is pay attention to who is in our kids' lives. What people are they hanging out with and what family situations are our children subjected to when they go to visit their friends' homes? What are their friends into? We have to involve ourselves. So many people don't know, and that's where it starts. One of the biggest things that, that happens is the smart devices. Our, our children all have cell phones, iPads, laptops, Xboxes. Predators stalk our children through all of those devices, through the apps. Your child may think that they're just uh, chatting or playing a game with a, a friend of theirs. You're like, who's your friend? Where'd you meet him? Well, I haven't met him in person, but I've known him you know, online here for a long time. Well, there's a great chance that it's a full-grown a predatory male adult stalking and grooming your child to put him in harm's way. Let's say you've got a young teenager. He's 13, 14. He may be chatting with someone who he thinks is a young female, a new girl at his school. She's reached out to him, sent a beautiful picture. And he's like thinking, wow, she's really pretty. I'll be the nice guy. And this is cool. And then she starts asking him for pictures of himself. And then maybe he, he shows her something. And then, well, she reveals that she's not who she said she was. And if you don't show me video now, I'm going to show your parents. I'm going to post it to everybody at your school. I'm going to post it online. And so there's a blackmail problem. And so now the predatory adult, adult wants video and he's selling that and he's sharing it with other pedophiles online. And the kid ends up in a compromised position and they say, hey, you know, we can work this out. Just meet me at the corner of the playground or blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, they get thrown in the back of a creepy rape van, never to see, be seen or heard from again. Uh, they do it to children of all ages, um, male, female. And so that's just one of the scenarios. That's how it can kind of devolve and play out. So a lot of these apps, guys. They've got facial recognition software. They've got geo tracking where the predator can stalk and figure out exactly what house they're in. It's just very, very dangerous. We've got to realize that it's not respectful to give your child privacy on his smart devices. It's dangerous. It's risky to give them that. We have to overcome that initial uh, instinct. We've got to assert ourselves, dig into their phone. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm going to need your password, I've got to be able to do regular spot checks to make sure you're okay. Because you don't understand at your age how these predators are stalking you. Wow. And there's a lot of kidnapping and and uh, there's a lot of harm waiting out there for our children. So we do have to assert ourselves and dig in to make sure they're okay.